Today you will learn about RS-232. It is a phrase you may hear fairly regularly in the industry. Hopefully this video will clear some things up for you. Before we get into today's video, if you love our videos, be sure to click the like button below and make sure to click subscribe and the bell icon to receive notifications for the new videos. What exactly is RS-232? First and foremost, it is a form of serial direct transmission or simply put, it is a form of communication. Most people simply call it a serial connection. At one time, it was the most used form of the data transmission. You will probably recognize the standard 9-pin DB9 cable. Simply put, RS-232 transmits signals using a positive voltage for the binary 0 and the negative voltage for the binary 1. But what do the PLCs use RS-232 for? The PLCs use RS-232 to talk to the other modules or even other PLCs. These modules can be anything that also uses RS-232, such as operator interface or HMIs or computers, motor controls or drives or a robot or some kind of a vision system. One important thing to remember if you find yourself using RS-232 devices is that there are actually two different types. DTE stands for the data terminal equipment and the common example of this is a computer. The DCE stands for data communication equipment. An example of the DCE is a modem. The reason is that because the two DTE or two DCE devices cannot talk to each other without some other help. This is typically done by using a reverse null modem cable to connect the devices. Typically our PLCs will be the DTE and our devices will be DCE and everything should talk to each other. One very common example that many people are probably familiar with the computer connected to printer while a USB became the standard. RS-232 is still widely used for the older printer in the workplace. RS-232 protocol and the cable allows the computer to give commands to the printer via voltage signal. The printer then processes those commands and completes the print. There are a couple of disadvantages of RS-232. One is the speed at which data can be transferred. Data can be transferred at around 20 kilobytes per second. That's pretty slow as compared to what people are used to now. Another issue with the RS-232 is the maximum length of the cable is about 50 feet. Wire resistance and voltage loops became an issue with the cable longer than this. This is the reason RS-232 is not used as much as newer technology for the remote installations. For the years, RS-232 has been standard in the industry. Today, USB Ethernet have started to phase out this older serial communication standard. However, with the help of simple adopters, devices can still talk to each other using new and old standards. There are still many manufacturers using RS-232 since it has been widespread and inexpensive. Manufacturers may use RS-232 to connect PLCs to the devices like HMIs, input and output modules, and motor drives. Keep in mind that RS-232 is a simply form of serial communications or a way to transmit data. Standard DB9 cable is probably the most used cable for this application. I hope this has been helpful and understanding just what RS-232 is used for. So that's the today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Please share, like and subscribe this channel and do check out the video tutorials on this channel. I hope you will find them interesting. Till next video, take care and goodbye.